back here and this video is all about upcycling now what is upcycling now recycling is really important for saving mother nature but in this video we are not recycling well we are but we are technically upcycling so upcycling is when you get this recycled material and you make it into something so much more than its potential originally so in this video we're gonna work with tin cans now how do we make tin cans amazing that is what you're gonna learn here because tin cans are kind of just boring things that hold your canned foods. Honestly, I had so much fun making all these things and right now they're all on my work desk and they look so good. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on to it. So of course, for this project, you're going to need some old tin cans and you can find this around your house or hopefully in the recycling bin. And these are really nice to use because unlike jars where you have wrapper that sticks to it, the wrapper of tin cans normally come off really easily and you just kind of tear them off of the tin can. But make sure that of course you wash your tin cans before you start it because you don't want them to be all like icky with the food that you know you use. So for the first project, we're going to be making these really, really cute containers. So you're going to first need to get these wrapping paper or printed paper. You can either print your own or I bought this book in the Visoria. And it has all of these really pretty prints, but you can also just get regular wrapping paper or colored paper from National Bookstore. And then get your tin can, this is the spam one, and I'm gonna measure the tip to the bottom with a ruler. And then I'm gonna get my wrapping paper and I'm gonna measure it twice because two points make a line, of course. Connect both points and draw out the line. And then get a pair of scissors and you're just gonna cut along the line to make a nice little strip. And this should fit your can perfectly. Then get some white glue, this is Mod Podge, but if you can't find this because it's quite difficult to find in the Philippines, you can of course just use normal Elmer's glue. Now this is a very special trick of mine, instead of buying sponge brushes from the store, I just get a regular dishwashing sponge and I cut them into little pieces and they become little sponge brushes. Then I'm gonna pour in my white glue onto the little foam brush I just made and spread the glue all over tin cans. And I really like using these kind of brushes for these kinds of projects because they spread whatever glue you're using on the surface really nice and really evenly. Then just get your piece of paper and press it down onto your glued can. Wrap it all around while pressing nice and gently and once you reach the other side, just get your foam and then put glue again to stick it and secure it down on the other side. And that's it, you're done with your first can. For my next can, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just measure it, cut it out, put glue, wrap it around. But in this case, the insides of my can didn't look so pretty, so I wanted to fix that up. So I'm just gonna measure another piece of paper and I thought orange would complement it well. Then put glue all around the insides and fold the paper into a circle with the pattern or the color you want on the inside and then glue it down. Now for the can I upcycled earlier, I'm just gonna take these little heart beads. You can use any beads you want. I think you can even use rice for this kind of thing. And just pour them into your tin can. And it looks really pretty inside but the real reason we did this is because now I can take my makeup brushes and I can just stick them down into the can and they stand straight up so it makes a really nice makeup brush holder or even for your pens. This is another can I did with a nice pretty design which I actually repeated on the inside so I used the same wrapping paper. And it looks super cute just there with all my jewelry. And for the can we did earlier, I'm gonna put it on my desk and put some coloring pencils in it. And it looks really, really cute and I can use it now and be so inspired when I am doing my coloring and stuff. 
for the next project, I'm going to be upcycling these little Nivea cream cans. And I love these because after you use them, you get this really nifty little container. But because it still has that blue Nivea brand on it, I thought it would be really cute if we could just upcycle this instead of throwing it away. So first, we're gonna need spray paint. And I normally get these also in the Vesoria because you can buy them for like 50 to 60 pesos each. But you can also find them in like Ace Hardware or True Value, all of these hardware stores around, or even I think National Bookstore has as well. Then just bring your Nivea cans outside and lay them down on newspaper with the inside part facing down. And then start to spray paint this. You have to do this two times, so you're gonna spray paint it once with a thin layer, let it dry, and then spray paint it again. I'm just using a nice cream color and also a gold one for the bigger Nivea can that I had. Then get your acrylic paints and a paintbrush. This one has a really nice fine tip so I can do nice detail. And the other end of this paintbrush actually serves a purpose and you're gonna see why later. So just put out your paint, like always, I just find whatever surface I can put my paint on, like this is an empty tin can cover, and just start painting on your design. Here, you can just be as creative as you want to be and do whatever design you want. You can also follow what I'm doing. I'm just creating a simple white circle around the design. You don't have to make this so perfect because honestly, it looks cute either way. And as you can see, my circle is hardly a perfect circle, but it still is gonna look amazing. Now, what you're gonna do with the tip of your paintbrush is you're gonna use it to create polka dots. And this is a really nifty trick. You can also use old bobby pins and you just dip them into the paint and you can create a polka dot design. And polka dot designs are so easy to make because they're so hard to make mistakes with and they're so easy to control. So I'm just gonna repeat this all around, mix up the colors and be as creative as I want to be. That's it! Once these dry, they become these perfect little containers for whatever you want to use them for. So you can use them for you know, putting in your hair ties, so that you can store them into your bag and always have them on hand. You can even hold, use them for holding your candy, like this one I'm transferring my Tic Tacs into it and becomes super cute. Or for the bigger one, I can fit in some Fox candies and you can just put this on your desk and no one's gonna know that there's candy inside, so you know, you don't have to share if you don't want to. For the last project, we're gonna be making these beautiful candle holders and all you need are a hammer, a nail, and your tin can. Then I'm gonna take a foam ball. This is actually a foam ball that's covered in, you know, foil, but you can find a regular foam ball anywhere. And what this does is it holds the other end of the can up so that when you're hammering down the nail, it's gonna stay put. This can be a bit tricky. Honestly, I had a hard time at first, but once you get the hang of it, it gets kind of fun. So you just put your nail on your can and you start hammering down. You can attempt to put your own design like little flowers or anything or you can do what I did where I kind of just made holes all over the can and in the end it looks like the can went through a world war but it's gonna turn super cute once you spray paint it. So here I'm spray painting it with gold and this is optional, you can do whatever color you want to. Then put it on your desk at night and get a candle. Be careful because fire is dangerous. Just put it into your tin can and once you turn off the lights, your bedroom is just gonna transform. What I love and what I didn't expect from these candle holders is that when you nail down your nails into the tin can, the tin bends and it creates this heart shape so that when you put the candle inside your tin can, heart shapes start to glow around the walls around you. And that makes it super cute because then you have like this Valentine disco all over your bedroom. That was the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and are gonna try it out. And if you guys do try it out, then please do post it on social media, on Twitter or Instagram, because I am there. Then hashtag RoseUpCycle and tag me, Rosie Vane, at Rosie Vane. Both of my Instagram and Twitter are at Rosie Vane. And you can find the links in the description below. And yeah, if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. And you know, subscribe if you wanna be, you know, my friend. Like I said, it would be fun if we were friends. So
so just hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys do try this out and don't forget to recycle. Even if you don't have a project to do right now, if you recycle or at least if you keep, you know, these things, then one day when you do have an amazing project and you stumble upon an amazing video like mine, you would have the materials already. I hope you guys contribute to society by recycling. That's it. Bye-bye.